Hey guys, it's Nate from The Bike Company. We're gonna take a quick look at the POC Cordal Race Helmet. After a few rides, I think I've got a pretty good idea of what I like about this helmet and what is just sort of like, okay, that's cool. Uh, what I really like, it's a light helmet. It's well ventilated. Both of those are important. Weight doesn't necessarily matter a lot to me. I actually bring a pocket camera and different filming stuff when I go riding, so I'm not counting ounces by any stretch. Uh, you can see that from my build. But having a little less weight pull on your head is a nice factor. This is a MIPS Integra helmet, so it is MIPS set up. This helmet has a Ricoh Avalanche locator, which is, it's not battery powered, it's basically a reflector. So if the people looking for you are set up with that system, they can pretty easily locate you. It's also got this NFC medical card. Not 100% sure that I'm gonna bother with that. Uh, I don't necessarily need my data on another app somewhere. I spoke to a handful of wilderness first responders that I know. None of them w were familiar with pulling that data, nor did they come up with a scenario where it was going to be super critical. That said, I don't have any allergies. I don't have any pre-existing conditions to really, you know, hey, he might be in some sort of diabetic shock. Um, I don't have any of that going. If I did, I think I would lean towards a uh, one of the road ID wrist bracelets because I'm not sure they're going to look at this. Uh, even I'm not sure they're going to look at my medical ID in my iPhone because, again, I, half the people I talked to weren't iPhone people. and like, I have no idea how to get that data. So there you go. With the helmet fit, fits pretty standard. What I will say, it's interesting. Even more than the other MIPS helmets that I've had recently, you get this tight. And there's still a decent amount of roll side to side. Uh, I don't have any... I believe that's going to be actually more protection, so I don't have any reason to think that that's negative. The one part that, that got me a little bit is if I wear my helmet down a little too low in the front, it hit my uh, highly technical casual glasses that I ride in. So I had to remember to you know kick it back just a little bit. Um, and that's kind of that. As far as the uh, functionality of these helmets, I hope not to find out, frankly. Uh, I generally don't like to crash. It's not my thing. Uh, but... I feel safe in this helmet with the technology that's put out there. The cool guy glasses on there for a second. Uh, anyway, read the rest of the blog and you might learn a little bit more about this pot cordal and some of the other helmets that we carry at bikeco.com.